So it started January 2023, yep, January 2023. Uh, it was about New Year's, Christmas going on to January 2023. And basically, I went to this party in Philadelphia. If y'all don't know, I'm from New York, but I lived outside of Philadelphia. And around this time, me and my friends, they invited me to a party. I'm like, okay, okay, I'll go to this New Year's party. And the same old party, same vibe, same people. And I'm just like, this is trash. I don't want to do this this year. I was bored. I was sick and tired of this. And I felt like I didn't want to do shit like this anymore. I was, I, was, I was tired of it. Tired of it, tired of it, tired of it. So I told myself, you know what? I ain't about to do this all year. So over the next two months, I stopped going to those parties. Basically, just vibed out, just more living a more chill lifestyle at home, working my business, and just going to the gym every day and just taking care of myself. And obviously, I met a, I met a girl this around this time. You know, we used to chill, vibe together. I met a couple girls during these, the, that, that year, the beginning of the month, from like January all the way up until like March, just vibing. And I had like a girl in my life, and she was chilling. But then, you know, it was a couple things that was just like, eh, it's the same old, same old shit, just a different body. If y'all know what that is like, like same old things, but just a different body, nothing changing about that. You know, life was just the same, you know, just doing the same thing every day, you know, doing what I can, living my life. You know, I lived alone, so I lived by myself, went to the gym, worked my business. My business was online, so didn't have to go, wasn't obligated to work on, go to someone's job or go to some facility every single day. So I, I looked at my life and, I, you know, one day I was having a good time with this girl. But one day I was just like, no, nope, she left and I did my usual, played the game. With one of our bros and I think we were playing Madden. Bro, Madden and he cooked me. Cooked the hell out of me and then I think I just like said F it. Bro, I'm not doing this no more. <laughs> That's how I literally I went. I don't even feel like playing the game no more. Like I'm done. So I went online. I always thought of all these places. This is not just some random thing. I always thought of just traveling for my whole life. And you know, life was just different. I didn't have the ability to to just travel. Went online, I always wanted to go to Bali. Went on so online, seen the price of it, and just told myself, fuck it, I'm out. F it, I'm out. Booked a one-way flight to Bali, told my family the next day, like, uh, I'm done. Like, I can't do this no more type time. It was, I wasn't, they were like shocked. They were scared. Like, oh, all right, what's going on? Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, nah, I just don't want to do this no more. I'm done. I'm cool. I need to go. I wanted to go. I wanted to get out the country. Like, I was done. Like, just the same life, same people, same things. You know, when you live in a certain area for a long time, you just get tired of it. I don't know. Some people, they love it. They love living that lifestyle. But I didn't want that anymore. And I had the freedom to do that. And, you know, what I did is basically broke my lease that where I, where I was staying at the time. Broke my lease and just booked that one-way flight and was done. Boom, packed my stuff up, threw it in the storage unit and just left. Left the country. That's how I did it. Just like that. Packed some of my things and just was out. Took like two suitcases and went all the way to Asia. Yep, just like that. Went to Bali, Indonesia, and it was one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. One way flight. Who knows what could happen? But one way. Didn't have an idea of just returning. You know, I told her, you know, I want to leave. Don't know. Maybe I'll come back. Things could be better, but I don't really know what I want to do. And I just did it. So I left the country. Went to Bali. First day. First day. I I think I made it to Bali. That flight was like 30 hours of traveling time just like staying over overlapping and the flights and just delays and I, I got there in like 30 hours basically next day or so and first thing i did i landed at like 10 p.m took a shower went right to the club best thing ever and it was just history from there had one of the greatest experiences in bali and then you know as you know Lee every month you get I, I got like a tourist visa we travel so you know i said ah, i bet i gotta get out of this country so i went to another asian country went to thailand and it was like a day in like or so in Singapore. And I went there, visited there, then went to Thailand for like a month. Met so many different types of people, people in business, people from not only from Asia, but people from Africa, Russia, London, all Europe, just the whole year, different European countries, all types of countries, just meeting different types of people. And they're just all traveling the world and just have the same interests and just doing different things. And it was really interesting for me. My friends, um, had a birthday coming up so we had a plan to go to dominican republic and so i flew all the way from thailand to dominican republic yep i stayed to stay there i was in thailand for like a month and then i went to dominican republic for a month and then uh party with my friends had a good time and also traveling meeting other people who are traveling see, seeing their lifestyles and just it was so different it was something i it was interesting to see people who live lives like me like me just traveling and just working online or just people who just love to travel and see the world it was interesting. I got a taste and became almost uh, addicted. And I realized, like, I was free. I know I wasn't had no attachments. I was free from or free from my. I was at least I had family in the United States, but I was free. And I was just felt different. 
and you, it's hard to get that like just that full freedom like a lot of people think like freedom is more all just money the money you make you're free no freedom is when you release relieve yourselves from the constraints that are keeping you tied down from anything that you want to do just think about it like you can make a lot of money but you may have this job so you have to answer to that job to whenever you want to go on vacation oh you need to ask permission that's not freedom you may have a business that if you don't work it you may have to work 80 hours a week just to keep your business running that's not freedom as well freedom is it's when you can free your time up it's when you can free your ability to make decisions how you want to do it when you want to do it yes you can make your money but now you have more free time in your life that's what it's like being free you'll never be completely free you always have to be tied to something i understand but the more you can become free to free in your life the better it's going to be so that's how i began to fail when i was traveling so i was in dominican republic and then i went to after i went to dominican republic i went back it was about may now so i went to mother's day my mom's birthday you know we traveled to the united states for a couple of weeks you know i did my things and you know hang with my friends and family but then i was like ah i want to go to another country don't know where well, I was tired of uh, so at the same time I had bouncing around so much. Cause I was a little bit like that was a little bit hectic. I wanted to be based somewhere and I want to actually get a full experience of the country. So you know, so maybe I'll do like six weeks and I want to go to Colombia. You know, my family and friends they were scared of me going to Colombia and you know I said I'm gonna go to Costa Rica and I'm like ah okay I'll go to Costa Rica, Colombia. I'm like now nah, I want to go to Colombia. I want to go to my first Disney because I wanted to go there. So I ended up booking to Colombia. Went there, said I was gonna stay here for like six weeks and it ended up being six months. I went back to my country, came back to Colombia because I realized I like having this freedom, I like having control. I want to be able to build. I want to learn how to build my life outside of the country because I realized all the benefits that came with just living outside the country. You know, the cheaper cost of living, that freedom, no, not too much, not too many ties to the, to the government of the United States. Um, just able to meet people easily, learning a different language. I enjoyed all that and the experience was great. And I met some really good people and I have new people in my life now that, you know, uh, there were one of the, some of the reasons why I'm here. I would have never thought that in a year's time, I know that I've been here for like a year, just booking a one-way flight would put me in this position. And a lot of people are scared to make decisions like this, but I would suggest that if you have the ability to just book a one-way flight to somewhere and you know maybe you have some extra money and you have a way to make money online, take it. Don't, don't do it. Don't stay at home your whole life. It's not the path to take. Take it now, just like I have. And it's the reason why I'm, I'm still out, because I enjoy the freedom, I enjoy the control of my life, and I would suggest it for anyone else. So take that one-way flight if you can.